What is in your heart? That's the question I have for you today. Hello, and welcome to your morning cup of inspiration. Thank you so much for joining me today. What is in your heart? Is it love? Is it hate? Is it jealousy? Is it covetousness? I mean, if you have a caring heart for others, that's the question. You know, over in Psalms 26.2, I was reading about David, and he says to the Lord, Test me, Lord, and try me. Examine my heart and my mind. Wow, could we do that? Could we say that to the Lord? Test me and try me? Examine my heart and my mind? Wow. If we do that, he is sure to answer us. He is sure to do that for us. Over in Psalms 51.10, it says, and this is what I feel our prayer should be daily. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. See, there's things that go by during the day. We slip, we fall, we stumble. But if we ask the Lord every day to create in me a, a, a pure heart, renew a steadfast spirit within me, he will do that. He's going to guide us. He's going to take us down the righteous path. He's going to help us grow daily in him. As we seek him, we will grow. And I believe David had that prayer, and he said that to the Lord when he asked him to test him. I believe he was saying that same thing and asking, how do I better my spirit? Test me of what I've done so far. What can I do to better myself for your kingdom? Matthew 5, 8 tells us, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Is your heart pure? Is mine pure? Not a chance. Not, not on its own. I have to ask God to renew it daily. I have to ask him for renewed steadfastness. Psalms 19, 14 tells me to, and these, this should be every, on everyone's lips. May these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. How many times have we heard that? May the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. And that's another prayer. We're asking him to make it acceptable for us, to help us. We're asking him to create a pure heart in us. We need to do that daily. And he will lead us. He will guide us. He will direct your paths. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I hope that this inspires you and encourages you as you build and as you grow in the Lord. Have a wonderful day. Look forward to seeing you again for another morning cup of inspiration. God bless you all.